how to lucid dream using the REM rebound technique. This is gonna be a fairly quick and simple tutorial for using this phenomenon known as REM rebound. REM stands for rapid eye movement sleep. It's the sleep where you lucid dream or have dreams in general, uh, the stage of sleep that is. What happens is as you become sleep deprived, if you stop yourself sleeping enough, your body will suppress your REM sleep and get deep sleep instead, or you know, get another type of sleep stage instead of REM sleep. What this means is that you build up a REM sleep debt your body wants to have this REM sleep, but it's been suppressed for whatever reason. Let's say you took cannabis, weed, alcohol, whatever, uh, or something which would suppress your REM sleep, okay? Now, this will build up a sleep debt in your body so that your body wants to have REM sleep to sort of make up for what you've lost before. So here's how you can use sleep deprivation to actually lucid dream using REM rebound. And by the way, the effect of REM rebound is that you will have incredibly long periods of REM sleep to make up for it. Your body will have these really long, really vivid stages of sleep called REM rebound where you're more likely to become lucid, they're vivid, they're real, they're very, you know, hyper-realistic and they're longer. They last for longer as well. So here's how you do it. Okay, and by the way, firstly, I am not suggesting you deprive yourself of any kind of sleep. This is just an idea if you want to try it out, okay? So I'm just saying what I have done myself. You don't have to do this, and I would not advise you to do this if you don't want to, or if you have any kind of sleep condition or something like that. So the way it works is if you deprive yourself of sleep or quality sleep for the first three or four hours of the night, you are going to very quickly fall into REM rebound afterwards. And by the way, there's a few ways of doing this. You can either miss an entire night of sleep and then try the next night, or, and this is what I would suggest you do, to cut your sleep in half, okay? Let's say if you go to bed normally at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., let's say, you wanna sleep for about four hours, which is of course not enough, okay? You need to get more normally, but you wanna cut your sleep in half. Sleep for four, three or four hours. You go to bed at 11, wake up at three, okay? And then stay awake until the afternoon. You wanna wait 12 hours. And then at three o'clock in the afternoon, you'll be so tired and sleep deprived that you will very easily be able to have a nap. When you have this nap, okay, this is your golden time to lucid dream. So what you do, you lay down, okay, this is when you're having the nap. You tell yourself, I will lucid dream right now. I'm going to lucid dream now. You also need to do a visualization exercise where you imagine or visualize yourself becoming lucid in the future in the dream, not now, Okay, I'm not saying to do a reality check now. I'm saying visualize yourself doing a reality check and becoming lucid in the next dream, the next thing you do. This engages your prospective memory, which is your ability to remember something in the future. Your prospective memory is what helps you do reality checks anyway. It's what helps you remember to do a reality check later on. Now, I will warn you now, okay, I did try this myself. It doesn't feel great, like you, you will feel tired, you will feel groggy, so if you have stuff to do, if you have like a load of work that you need to do, if you need to be awake and alert for whatever reason, then don't do this, okay, because you're gonna ruin your sleep and you're not gonna feel good. However, if you have time and you, you don't need to be up, okay, let's say it's the weekend or you're still in lockdown, don't know when you're watching this, then you have time to do this. So that's when I would advise you to do it. And what's gonna happen is you'll experience REM rebound. You'll probably enter a nap within a few minutes, okay, very quickly. And if you've been doing it right and if you set the intention strongly enough that you will lucid dream, it's very likely you'll lucid dream with a REM rebound technique. So that is how to lucid dream today or tomorrow, tonight, whatever, with the REM rebound technique.